remove a socket head cap screw. This is actually an excerpt from another video that I put on my sister channel, uh, Ray's Fix. What is interesting about this is I use two different drills to drill out a socket head cap screw. And then I use a bolt extractor. Stay tuned. This that I'm working on is an antique cutoff grinder. Problem is here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. When they tilted the, the cutter at one point in time, they actually cut into the bolt and half the bolt's removed. I don't want to drill the bolt out, but I'm going to end up stripping it if I try and take it out anymore. Because half the half of the the head's missing. I mean, I could do it, but I don't want to. Somebody cut across it with the uh, chop saw, and it's seized in. Let's take a look from the bottom. It's pretty rusty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill the head off that's another way of removing a screw well hopefully you'll be able to see <clears throat> Still turns. Should be doing this in a drill press. This is a heavy interrupted cut. I don't think I can do this. No. Right down the center. Now some guys are going to say, well, Ray, did you damage the drills? Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. No damage to the drill at all, but it's a good quality drill, so that probably has something to do with it as well. And same with the other ones. You take a look. Oopsie. Is that the one that I had before? They're all still in good shape. Okay, this is the uh, socket head cap screw. Try and get in a little better there. That's a socket head cap screw. This is the one that I drilled out. This is what they originally look like. Okay. So I use this drill here. It's got a bit of rust on it, but you can see it's still good quality. And this is the other size that I used. People will say, oh, you damaged the drill, but it didn't really damage it. So how I got this out, let's go back to regular here. There we go. I drilled through with the smaller one first so that I could establish a center. If you do look. It's right in the center and I established it with 
the smaller drill. Then I went in with the larger drill. I would follow the one that I originally had until I drilled the head off. You see the edge? It's difficult to see here. The edge just breaks off. Then I snapped it off. That's another way of removing a, a bolt without actually doing any damage to any of the material that's around it because I wanted to keep the vise in good shape. Say, well, Ray, what you really wanted was the T-nut on the end here. How am I going to get that out? Well, there's a couple ways I could do this. I could just grab with vice grips on the end. Not a problem. I could use one of these bolt extractors. Put that on there. Unscrew it out. But I'm going to use a stud extractor. And away she comes out. Let's see if I got that guy. Well, here we go. Nice and easy. Well, I'm glad to see that you enjoyed that. Hopefully you picked up a little tidbit or two. Don't forget, if you want to see other awesome videos, check out my YouTube site, Shop and Math. And you can also check out my sister site, Ray's Fix. That's where the main project from this will be on. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on my face and I'll do the rest. Have a good night.